Fireball. I'm here. We are We're back. back. Hey, Andrew, do you want to say hello to mommy really fast on air? You want to say hello, mommy? No, no, you don't? Really. Okay. I thought I might be able to get them there that's, really fast. That's big dog's in the house. That's big dog is in the house right here with me. If you, if you check us out on Facebook, you will see all the pictures I've been taking with my son, Andrew, who's in the studio with us today. He was like, you know, I want to go see Miss Borden. So that's the reason why he showed up. Yes. So <laughs> How do you know? Is, you know, he knows. But, you know, speaking of that, we always talk about between the break. Christy was like, Chris. I didn't know I could talk a little bit about some of my cool listings absolutely. that I have as well. I said, Christy, absolutely. So I'm going to put you on the spot this right now. This is a real estate show. You know. <laughs> it is, is a, a real, real estate, estate show. show. So, you know, for those who don't know, obviously, Christy is very involved in Tree Pack and very involved in everything going on in the community. But we also support our producing agents, such as Jody, who came on prior to. And you have a lot of good listings going on out there and some really neat things to talk about. I'm actually very fortunate. A lot of them have sold, but I've got a great one in Cinco Ranch, which everybody knows Cinco Ranch. And it's a five-bedroom, wonderful home. It's just at 3,800 square feet with a pool, three-car garage. It's got the trifecta of everything. Beautiful home built by Village Builders. We're going to hold that open tomorrow between 2 and 4. Address is... Looking for that. 5214 Red Oak. And so please stop by our open house tomorrow. It'll be great. I've got a couple really great listings in Lake Sabella Terra, which is in Richmond. Yes. Fabulous area. And one of them just went under contract. We're very grateful. Still have a one story, 265000 precious home built by D.R. Horton. And so we've got a lot of uh, stuff going on in Katy in West Houston. That home on Red Oak is actually zoned to OKE school, isn't it? Do you know what school? No, do you know which one? That is? would be the new, the newest homes over because it's over. Oh, over it's the, okay. The new, yes, yeah. absolutely. That's yeah. gorgeous over there. Let me let me tell you, you know, obviously having children who go to KDISD, it's amazing to see everything that's going on. They just had the re the re uh, the re I guess the boundary modification right. as they call it right there. You've got incredible school zone over there. I would highly encourage you to get out there. That's tomorrow. In Cinco Ranch, that open house, correct? Two to four. Yep, Two love to, four. to see you out there. Should be a pretty day, yep. too. On Red Oak. It'd be a little cloudy, but it's going to be nice. So, enough of the plug about my real estate. I kind of want to, I guess, get back to the meat <laughs> of the potatoes. There is a meat of the potatoes. Something I do want to make sure we, we yes. get out to everybody understand that when we talk about the, the, the we are the realtor party. Right. And so we end up supporting uh, both parties. Absolutely. Because, yes. it, again, we're about private property rights. If, if they're on the, the left and they support private property rights, we're for them. Well, you know, it, it, right. so it, it works both ways. Truly, truly, the tree pack reaches across the aisle. If we could have some of our politicians do what tree pack does, yes. we'd be in a lot better. Why don't we have a candidate running for president <laughs> with the realtor party? Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and let me explain. We like last year at one of our major investor events for the pack, we had five of our six U.S. congressmen in attendance. These guys actually get along pretty well when they're left to their own devices, but they were there because every single one of them took the call from us and understand that we are there, <clears throat> pardon me, for the consumer. When the realtors support or do not support an issue, they dig deeper because they know it isn't just about the realtors. It's about the real estate industry in a whole, and that actually affects the economy. So when I hear people go, I just don't want to give money to the pack because you support X and you support Y. And I'd say, have you seen what X and Y have done for your industry, for your clients, for your in largest investment? And it's amazing. We do pay attention to what these folks are doing. And they do not put party before the good politics of for private property rights. These are our champions, and we support them uh, strongly yeah, and, and vehemently. Again, you know, the thing about the pack is we, we're not doing it for us as, a, as an industry. We're doing it for the consumers. Everything we do is consumer-oriented. Oh, absolutely. And, and so how can you be wrong? And you're, we're not we're not supporting these social issues that a lot of times are never decided. They're just sound bites to get somebody elected. We look at past records. We have report cards on these guys and actually know what they've stood for, what they've stood against, where they've been every time we've taken the call to them. And those are the folks we support. And most people don't realize also, because sometimes they might be sitting out there saying, well, how do you do it? You know, how, how do you do it from a centralized area? And guess what? You have these PALS organizations that are out there, which are the, you know, political action, you know, leagues for lack of, I forget what does PALS stand for? Political Action Advisory Leadership. A, a, advisory Leadership, right? 
And so there's, they're actually sitting on the outskirts. So you have Montgomery County, you've got Fort Bend County, you have all these other regional ones as well that all feed into the to, to the major one, which allows us to be boots on the ground face to face. Exactly. Our government affairs, whether it's HAR, Houston Association of Realtors, Texas Association of Realtors, National Association of Realtors, we really have a four legged stool. And part of that, of course, is the PAC. In the political affairs, legislative affairs, and issues mobilization. What what the public didn't realize, issues mobilization is where we actually can take a local issue, very important, like preservation rights here in Houston, um, rental registration in Austin. All of these issues that start at city council sound like a great idea, but could have a very negative impact on property rights and and your ability to have the to buy and sell property freely. And then what we do is. We work at the state level to look at what our legislators doing. And at the national level, the only thing that we absolutely stay away from, out of, and do not get near, is a presidential election. Yeah, <laughs> right. Probably, probably good mood. We still yeah. get in trouble with the ones we do weigh Those in Those are on. bought and sold but, on but social you know, issues, you not, up, not important. Right. <laughs> you, you bring up rental registration. I agree. You know, you brought up rental registration. Yes. And this has actually occurred when the city council is sitting there looking, where do we get more revenues? Yep. That's one of the things they're going after. They're zeroing out. And actually, it happened out in Rosenberg. They actually, I believe, got that passed. Uh, it kind of slid it in there. Yeah, what, and sure I don't think people understand what that means. It means if you are owning rental property and you want to lease it to somebody new, the city's going to have to come out and inspect it and approve it. So, you know, what could go wrong type of thing. Right? Exactly. Well, and even in Austin, though, they were trying to prevent people renting out their place for the South by, you know, the festival. South by Southwest. Over and, I was reading about exactly. that. Exactly. And so, you know, you want to head out of town. And you've got somebody willing to pay you $1,000 for a couple of days. And why not? It is your home. But they they wanted to control it. They want to tax it. And they did it through the guise of, well, we need to inspect to make sure that it's safe for you to do so. Well, of course, that inspection will have costs. Correcting the inspection will have costs. And then now that they know you're renting it, they're going to get a tax on it. So that is the government trying to take away your right to openly own and freely sell or do what you wish with your property. The market takes over because if it's property is not in good condition, nobody's going to rent it. That's right. So we have you know, a caller. We have another caller right now. We have the great Michael Roddy calling in. Michael, how are you doing today? Doing good, Chris. Hey. Uh, how are you and uh, Tim and Rob and Christy? Hello. Hey, 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 Michael. Hey, Michael Hot Roddy. We are doing great talking about TreePack and all the great things that TreePack does, not only for the affiliate level, for, for obviously for the realtors and everybody and the consumer at the end of the day, how they're benefiting from the involvement in TreePack. Absolutely, man. I tell you, there's been a lot of great information today. I am uh, waiting on some clients. I'm going to be out showing today. It's a great day out there, yeah, by no the way. Kidding. It's beautiful. Yep. So it's, it's going to be good to be out there. But just thought I would call in and say hello. And, and uh, one of the things that I did want to uh, remind your listeners of and, and remind you guys up there is that the Texas Home and Garden Show is going on this weekend. And, you know, we always talk about um, uh, talking to experts when it comes to real estate, building, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, that is a great place to go. I try to go uh, every other year to the show because that's where you've got the most number of experts in the smallest space available. So <laughs> you, you can get out there and, and uh, talk to quite a few people at a time. And uh, we consider ourselves the professionals, the experts in real estate, and people can certainly contact us anytime. But if they are looking to uh, do anything with their property, you were talking about earlier, Christy, uh, getting homes ready to put on the market. And you're right, there is a, still a low inventory out there. What a great place to go and, and find out what you can do to make the improvements uh, uh, to give the home the, the best chance of selling quickly in this market. Yeah. You know, and you're absolutely right, and, and that's something we probably don't bring up enough. There's, you know, Houston is being as big as, as we are. We have some great, great events that do take place around the city that individuals can go to if they want to do home improvement, if they want looking at, at getting ideas, et cetera, et cetera. Or as Michael was saying, go into an area which you have a, a large area of expertise and, and, and items you can. With all the new cool products coming out too, yes. they uh, roll them out right there in that uh, uh, exposition. So. It, Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, guys, I just wanted to say hello, and uh, I'm going to continue listening until the clients actually walk in the door. We'll here, make which them listen to any minute. <laughs> and <laughs> great show today, and look forward to talking Michael, to you. Michael, hey, Michael, before you go, you all yep. ready for motorcycle school, buddy? I'm ready for it. Coming up, coming right, up. Right. What do we have? Like about two weeks. Don't about we? two more weeks on a Monday. Right. That is correct. My and wife. I, uh, my wife found Chris that little contract. Actually, we actually <laughs> ordered some goodies yesterday. Oh, no kidding. 
Yep. Yes, yes, so I'm ready. We're going to be yep. out there on our little Yamaha 125, <laughs> riding, riding around in a circle. So we're gonna... <laughs> Can't that's wait a, for that. That's another whole story. Rob told me to bring my big wheel as a backup. <laughs> <laughs> the testosterone. All, all right, guys. Great show. Talk well, to you soon. It sounds great, Michael. Thanks a lot for calling. Have a great in. day, Michael. Thanks for Bye. calling. I just wanted yep. to hit for the consumer quickly some of the wins that the realtors have done for you. And in case you weren't aware, one of the big ones in 1997, we fought for the mortgage industry and we kind of fought the mortgage industry. Sorry, Chris, but we fought to keep Texas safe so that you could never dig into more than 80 percent of the equity of your home for an equity loan. And I asked people in California how it worked out when they could borrow up to 110 percent. And then you see what happened in when the crash happened. People still, even though they might have used their home like an ATM, um, they still had equity protection. Other things that we've done, a 1% sales tax. We have prevented the government from taking 1% from every sale. Can you imagine every time a $200,000 home sells, 2000 would be tatched on top, and then the buyer and seller have to bear that cost. And can you imagine them? Yes, it would have created a lot of revenue, but it would have definitely impacted well, yeah, I your- I think North Carolina has a 3%. They, and it, yeah, and once Florida. you start at one, trust me, it, gets, it, it right. does anybody know about raising taxes? Hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We prevented a tax on property tax imposed on people who use their vehicles for the production of income. That's not just realtors. That's Mary Kay. That's anyone that drives in their car to make their money. It was a huge tax. That was Prop 6. Another one that we've done that was really great is, of course, working on the long-term water plan, the education needs, and and the Transportation Act. Your realtors and our association, our affiliates, we work hard to protect the consumer. We want you to know it. We really, it protects us all. And you know, let me tell you, you mentioned about obviously the, the 80% rule here in Texas. I, I use that as probably the single most important item that has taken place that Texas differentiates itself and has for a long time. Because let me tell you, that helped homeowners during the debacle of 2008 and 2009 of individuals not being in the situation of what you saw California, Nevada, New York, you know, Florida. And that was a tough fight. I can tell you, T.A.R., John Nichols at the helm at that time, fought hard for the consumer to protect them. And it might have actually dinged us personally as an industry because, you know, especially the mortgage, you couldn't have the big equity um, loans, but still it was important to the consumer, and that's who matters. Oh, and that, that's who matters. And let me tell you, it has benefited them tremendously, and I love it. We're coming up against a break. We are coming up against a break again. We have another 15 minutes to go. Man, time flies. You're having fun, and we are having a good time. Subject matter I can talk about Great forever. Show. We're just limited to, 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 to the airspace. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back.